Hello, welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. The general trend over the next 10 days is for the weather to remain unsettled with low pressure, often blustery showers, and with winds very frequently coming from the northwest, it will be rather cold at times, although not all the time, because as we end Wednesday, a curl of milder air is toppling the country. And that's associated with a weather front that is bringing cloud and outbreaks of rain and hill snow into Scotland and Northern Ireland. And by the start of Thursday, that's pushing into Northern England, Wales and the southwest. Under this cloudy zone, the winds will be picking up. It's a drab day with that bricks rain on and off, some hill snow as well. Southeast England will start off with sunshine but frosty temperatures. And as the cloud thickens through the day, it's going to continue to feel quite cold. But brighter skies for Scotland and Northern Ireland, albeit with frequent showers packing back in here. And these showers in this colder air will be returning to hail, sleet and snow in places. By Friday, well, the rain pushes away from the southeast through the morning. Sunshine returns. But again, we've got this brisk and cold northwesterly wind across the country, bringing frequent wintry showers into western areas. But for many, it's a clear end to the working week. And under those clear skies, temperatures fall away quickly. So if you're heading out Friday night, it's going to be a chilly one. But by the start of Saturday, the next low pressure is moving in and that brings with it a slice of milder air as well as cloud, rain and wind. That means there's a big divide across the country as we begin the weekend with a frost but sunny skies in the southeast, a brisk breeze and cloud and rain in the northwest leading to frost free temperatures. And it's that cloudy wet zone that spreads across all parts during the course of Saturday. So after a sunny start in the southeast it turns cloudy and by the end of the day it's wet and windy. The rain falling as snow over the hills, but it does clear into the southeast by the end of Saturday. And for Scotland and Northern Ireland, we replace it with, once again, brisk northwesterly winds, once again bringing with them frequent blustery showers, rain, sleet, snow and hail. Fast forward to Sunday afternoon and you can see the rain is well out of the way and we're all under this northwesterly airflow and again that means it's going to be chilly with frequent wintry showers affecting northern and western Britain. Best of any sunshine in the east but for all of us it's going to feel quite cold on Sunday. Temperatures typically around two, three degrees, some places colder than that. Because if we follow those winds all the way back well we get to northern Canada a source of air that is particularly cold at this time of year and despite that moving across the Atlantic it retains some of the chill as it heads towards us. And little change as we go into the start of next week with that northwesterly airflow bringing further showers, wintry showers, rain, sleet, snow, hail into western parts of Britain, best of any sunshine in the east and it is going to be windy in the west. But some changes into Tuesday. This low pressure is starting to move in and if I put the temperatures back on well you can see that's bringing with it milder air for a time however that mild air really doesn't improve our temperatures very much and it only tends to act to create this big temperature contrast across the Atlantic that then fuels the jet stream high above us in the sky a fast flowing current of air that tends to pick up and develop areas of low pressure and send them our way and that's what it's doing into next week if we highlight this low pressure well that's likely to bring some wet and windy weather into the middle of next week and once it clears we'll see further blustery showers arriving so through next week a showery start perhaps a more prolonged wind and rain in the middle with possibly some milder temperatures and then that clears to further blustery showers and chilly temperatures once again. Little sign in the next ten, seven to ten days that the weather will become settled for a prolonged amount of time. Low pressure is likely to remain in charge. There will be bouts of wind and rain as well as showers at times. Most of the time it will be quite chilly but uh, at times next week when we get the weather systems moving through it could be a little less cold. Now that's the next seven to ten days but interesting developments are happening right now many hundreds of miles away and many thousands of feet high in the sky that could influence our weather beyond ten days. Now I mentioned the jet stream which is this fast flowing current of air 
high in the sky and that is moving across the Atlantic into the start of next week as this powerful current of air. Now the jet stream lies at the top of the troposphere which is the slice of atmosphere that we live in and it typically lies about 20 to 30,000 feet high in the sky. But if we turn the globe on to its uh, uh, top, then we can see there's the North Pole, there's the UK, and the jet stream surrounding the Northern Hemisphere as this powerful current into the start of next week, driving that unsettled weather towards us. But if I show you a bit more of a technical diagram, and again, there's the UK, there's the North Pole, and this is looking at the stratosphere, the slice of atmosphere that's above the troposphere, and this is at 80 to 90,000 feet high in the sky. And just like the troposphere, we see high pressure, we see low pressure, we see areas of colder air, areas of milder air. And typically, at first, over the next few days, we'll see this block of blue above the North Pole. This is something called the polar vortex, and it's an area of cold air as well as low pressure. And the winds tend to circulate rapidly around that. And we see westerly winds across the Atlantic, very high in the sky, the stratosphere. That tends to fuel the jet stream and help it uh, retain its power across the Atlantic, sending us a low pressure systems. But if I fast forward during the next seven days and into the start of next week, you can see big changes happen in the stratosphere, 80 to 90,000 feet above the North Pole. These reds indicating higher temperatures than normal developing in the stratosphere and high pressure. And that tends to disrupt the flow in the stratosphere 80 to 90,000 feet above the North Pole. Rather than having this fast flowing current across the Atlantic, we're going to see a more meandering current. And of course, what happens in the stratosphere can then impact what happens down below in our slice of the Atlantic, the troposphere, and most notably, the jet stream. So what we're facing as we go through the next seven days, potentially, is a disruption of the winds in the stratosphere above the North Pole, which then could impact our weather beyond day 10 because there's a lag effect by the time it impacts the weather at lower levels. And what that means essentially is that beyond day 10, we could be faced with a less active jet stream. That means fewer areas of low pressure moving in from the west and a higher chance of high pressure developing and perhaps drier weather as well as colder temperatures. So that's beyond day 10 and there's a lot of uncertainty at the moment because it all relies on developments that happen many thousands of feet high in the sky, many hundreds of miles away from us. So we'll be keeping a close eye on that over the next few days and we'll let you know how it develops. But for more details on the current weather, on any weather warnings that we have in force right now, well, you can always head to the Met Office website, download our app, and follow us on social media.